Listen, I was the vice chair of zoning. I did real estate. A statistic, a real statistic, that the average house that went into foreclosure would have avoided foreclosure if they had an extra thousand dollars a month. That's at any price point. Could you use an extra thousand dollars a month? So if you do hair, if you sell dinners, if you cut grass, whatever it is you do, you write resumes, you clean houses. How many of those things can you do to earn some extra money? Because guess what? It's about selling it to the kingdom. It's about selling it. This is not about getting diamond buns and cars. How many people could you do scholarships? Who could you sponsor? Could we have a daycare? Could we build? Could we pay the utility for a whole year in advance? Talk about it. What could you do and who could you bless if you were drowning? Self-preservation is not hard. It's not, it's not selfish. First you save yourself and then you reach back and you save everybody else. But if you're drowning, who can you save? If you're drowning, who can you save? And so when I talk about entrepreneurship, do a little. Even if you do a little, if you cook, if you do hair, how many people do you have to do to just kind of get it going? Let me tell you a real quick story. So when I was in corporate America, absolutely positively hated it. Great title, great salary, hated it. Had a nice fancy car, car broke down. That's what cars do, right? I had a decision. At this point, I had just been introduced to uh, Organo, which is network marketing, and I had a decision. So full time at my job, I had an idea for my business, an idea that was doing a little bit on the side. My car broke down, thousands of dollars, no more warranty, I had a decision. I didn't get a brand new fancy car. I got me a little Ford Explorer, <laughs> paid in full, right? And I sold into my dream. I sold into, I got my web designer, I got my LLC, I paid for my office, I sacrificed for two years. I drove that little putt, putt, putt around. And I'm going to business meetings, I'm the credit lady. I rolled up in my Explorer. They're looking at me like, lady, listen, you don't know, because while you're laughing at my car, I'm investing my entire salary. I'm investing my entire salary. So my point to you is when you are an entrepreneur, when you're building a business, when you have a dream, are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice? I sacrificed. And I did a little, and a little, and a little, and it got me here, and I'm so blessed. If you have an idea, start. There is no perfect time. You're not gonna have enough money in the bank. You're gonna be going through marital problems, and health problems, and everything else. If you keep on waiting for the perfect time, you're gonna be waiting for us. So let me tell you something. Leaders, and when you're an entrepreneur, when you're a business owner, you're a leader. And guess what? That may not be your destiny. Are you leading your household? Are you leading your kids? Leaders come in different forms. Leaders look around for the circumstances needed for success. So make it happen. The only person that's sitting in the way of your success is you, I promise you. When I talk about entrepreneurship, I'm not talking about because I read about it. I'm not talking about it because it was an online video or a YouTube course. I'm qualified to talk about it because I lived it and I'm still living it. Does that make sense? All right, and we will talk real quick about credit because there's a lot of misconceptions about it, but let me tell you something. I promise you, it is expensive to have bad credit. This is why the rich get richer and the poor get poor. I'm gonna talk to you in numbers because I need you to get this all the way, okay? I was an analyst when I was in corporate America. $3,000 credit card. The difference between bad credit, which is 18%, and good credit, which is 4%, is the difference between paying back $7,400 or $3,400. Did you hear me? With the same $3,000 credit card. All right, and for a mortgage, $100,000 mortgage, the difference between 3% interest rate and a 5% interest rate is over $41,000. Raise your hand if you got $41,000 to throw away. I look crickets. <laughs> Cricket. So let me tell you, there's a misconception. And if you didn't know about credit and your grandparents didn't know about credit, then you may not know. But guess what? You don't have an excuse because what does it say? 2019 is your best year. If you hear, you know now. And when you know better, you do better. Amen? Amen. So you know now because I just told you. And it's on tape. Right? Yeah. All right. And so it would behoove you to start positioning yourself for success more than you. 
How bad do you want it? Are you willing to pack your lunch for six months or a year to get to your goal? Or, I was willing to not get that brand new car and have people laugh at me. Are you the credit lady and you an explorer? Yeah, I just started a business and I just retired myself and I just bought an investment property. Hello? Things that, aren't, things that didn't depreciate. Position. Sacrifice. You don't got to answer anybody who you trying to impress. Half the people you trying to impress got less than you. Spoke it. I said it. But it wasn't until I had a burning desire and failure was an excuse that I made it manifest. Nothing was different except for I said, I must be a sapphire this month, I promised my mom. Listen, I saw it, I spoke it, I did the work and it manifested. You know what that showed me? This thing right here is powerful and this thing right here is powerful. You have to start believing it. And I went to Vegas and I got my national recognition. I mean, this is not story. The people in here that know me, you can go on my Facebook page and go back to March 2017 and see the, the posters and the pictures. You can see me documented like it has to be done. You know what I said? Like, it wasn't until I said no excuses that it manifested. So at what point are you going to be relentless with your goals? At what point are you going to stop making excuses? Right? At some point, there has to be failure is not an option. I hit sapphire when failure was not an option. But from that day on, I now have retired myself because that same principle, failure is not an option. I walk by faith. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That look, you can't have faith and not do the work, right? Going into 2019, make a goal for your health, make a goal for your finances, make a goal for your Christianity, for your walk, make a goal for your relationships, your family. One goal, maybe a couple, but prioritize. Guess what? If everything's a priority, ain't nothing a priority. Hello? Prioritize for real, and then be laser focused, be relentless, and don't be afraid to fail, because that just means he has something greater for you, you have to grow through it. Greater level, greater devil? So much room is given, much is required? Stop speaking it and not walking it. Your actions don't match.